I think a lot of people are wondering uh, what happened on Sunday at the competition. I will tell you what I felt like. Representing Switzerland coming down the course and this is Andre Rickenley. So look at that. Weißt du eigentlich, wo wir hingehen? Ja, siebni, fliegt's. <lacht> wo es hingeht, sehen wir den. <lacht> einmal Evian und einmal Healthy Fiji Lifestyle. Fuck, I got the seat in the middle. No! Spring is safe of Korea. Peace out. Elias, I'm real frisky camps. Schweizer Fahne, Bro! Grün, ja. Gas! Switzerland ist hier! Mal schauen, wie viele Putschkräfte ihr da haben. 7 <lacht> Stück auf etwa 10 Quadratmeter. <lacht> hey, wie ich da drauf? Oh shit! Wo bin ich? Hallo! Yo, I totally forgot to start the vlog. Welcome to vlog. Nein, I think. I made it to the Olympic Village. I'm here in my room. I shared with Fabian. He's not here at the moment. He came here yesterday at 8 o'clock, ate something and then we went to sleep. Woke up at 4 in the morning. Yeah, still a bit of jet lag. And today it was really fun. We did a bunch of funny stuff. Here's the shot. <laughs> Now we'll stay another three days here in the Olympic Village. We got some really nice stuff from the Olympics. Galaxy Note 8, some pins so you can change with the other athletes from the other nations. And here's some other pins. That's the room here. Not too big. We moved yesterday from the Olympic Village to the Phoenix Park. The piano get pack up. <laughs> yeah, and today we went for a little ride. Um, we checked out the park from the side. Uh, we have three training days, which is a lot, so I think it shouldn't be a problem to figure out a whole run. The rails look really crazy, they are so high. Tomorrow we have the first practice and I'm just super excited to go skiing again because we were now not skiing for almost a week. I have a lot of energy. See you tomorrow in practice. First practice is done. Uh, it was a tough one. Wasn't the best practice for me because there are so many options on the rail. It's hard to decide which line you want to go. Well, I have some ideas, but we have two other trainings. See you tomorrow.
I went up and watched the girls final. That was unbelievable. And Switzerland for a double victory. Sarah Höflin is a Olympic champion right here! <laughs> and Mathilde Grimaud got second. Congrats to both and congrats to Sis Frisky. Good work to the coaches. Yeah, tomorrow is the day for me. Uh, it's a dream, that's what I worked for and to show my skiing in front of the whole world. For me, the most important thing tomorrow is just to land a clean run. If I qualify for finals, I think everything is possible. Wish me luck and yeah, see you tomorrow. Qualies went down, I had my two runs, um, it was really good, I stomped my first round perfectly, got a 95, sitting currently in second spot, which is enough for the finals, that was my big goal, and now I will just have fun and ski the best as possible, and the dream is a medal, and I will go for it, see ya. Let's go home! I think a lot of people are wondering uh, what happened on Sunday at the competition. I will tell you what it was like on Sunday and what I felt like. I was really hyped for finals and of course really nervous. I wanted to step up my run. There was more wind than in the qualification so I had a little bit speed problems. I did my first run. The same as in qualification, put it down perfect, got a 85, that's okay, uh, maybe I hoped for a bit better score, but all the others killed it as well. Then in the second run, uh, I, did the no I did the whole run almost perfect, and on the last jump, on the nose buzzer, I missed my grab. And that's why I didn't get the points there, because a lot of pe people were asking me on Instagram why I didn't get a better score on my second run. It's because I missed the grab. There was uh, a lot of pressure for the last run. I really wanted to win that medal. I was really focused. I did my run on the rails perfect. First jump perfect. Second jump perfect. Then I went into the last jump. Did the nose butter. Felt maybe a little bit slow. Opened up and yeah. Then everything was, was gone and I was really, really sad uh, after the competition. It was my dream to win the medal. Yeah, but at the same time, it's a part of the game. Um, I ended up on every contest. I started on the podium, just not at the Olympics, which sucks a bit. It's still a really good season for me. We still have uh, three World Cups to go. It was such a cool experience to be an Olympian and I hope for sure that I will be back in Beijing 2022. I would say thank you for all watching and make sure to subscribe and comment. I'm not sure if we, if we can show everything on the vlog because of the Olympics you can't show every video so we try our best. But that was it for vlog 9. Thank you for all watching and see ya! Peace.